Hey, welcome to Level Up. I am Marisa and in this video we will learn different text settings in PowerPoint. We will only use very basic comments and don't look too deep into the settings. Ok, so let's start. On this page I will show you how to simply fill a text placeholder with random text. We want to fill this empty text box. To do this, type in the text box the command equal sign, lorem, open parenthesis, number 2 close parenthesis, then press return. And here we have our random text. Each paragraph has three sentences. You can insert one, two or three to adjust the number of paragraphs. If you need less text, just type one in the parenthesis instead of two and press return. If you need more text, just type three and press return. But we only need two paragraphs to fill our text box. So let's delete the last paragraph. That was easy, wasn't it? Here I will also show you some basic font options to add to our text. We should give the numbers a shadow. In the font ribbon we have some cool options. You can change here the font and font size, make your text bold or italic, or underline your text, and many other options. But we want a shadow, right? After you selected all numbers, click the shadow button to add the shadow. And that's it. It really looks better now. The second line in the headline doesn't look good. We will adjust this using the character spacing, so that the headline fits well on one line. First select the heading text, then click the character spacing button. Our headline is set up with normal spacing, but we want to change this. Select more spacing, then select in the drop down menu condensed with a value of 0.8 and then click OK. Does the headline look much better now? I think so. On this page we have now finished formatting our text. Now we go on next page and here I will show you some nice paragraph options to add to the right text box. I think we should add bullet points to the text. Ok, let's do this. First select the text. Then click in the paragraph ribbon the bullet points button. Then select bullets and numbering. In the bullets and numbering option click customize. And here we have tons of symbols to choose for our bullet points. Let's select a triangle and click OK. Then select in the color option the light green color and press OK again. If you want to reduce a bit the size of the triangle, type in the bullet and numbering option a size of 70% and then click OK. Now we have added 9 bullet points to our text. Let's make the text left aligned. I think it will look better. First select the text, then under the paragraph ribbon click the left align button and we have easily changed the text alignment to left. I think we should also add some paragraph line spacing. First select the text, then click in the paragraph ribbon the line spacing button. Then select spacing options. Here you can easily add line spacing before or after paragraph line. Let's add a spacing before of 12 points and then click OK. Now on this page we have also finished formatting our text. So that's all for today. But if you like our videos, subscribe to our channel and see you next week with our new Level Up video.